Alright, we're over in Blender. We are assuming you have already saved your point cloud as a .ply file. Go to File, Import, Stanford PLY. And this takes a long time to import, so I've already done that. Now, go to Layer 2. I have added a cube. I'm going to go ahead and give that a sort of bluish color so we can see it. This is what's going to be attached to the particle system. Back to Layer 1. Add a new particle system. I'm going to make that from frame 1, start and end. An image from verts. Take off random. Doesn't seem to do anything anyway. Go down, object, and point that at the cube. And bam! Hey, Lego fractals! Cool! Alright, now let's make these smaller so they're more like po uh, v uh, what, voxels. Yes, voxels. Okay. And we should be able to see something immediately. All right, that's something. Now, gradually increase the number of cubes. All right, better. Now, bear in mind that the more you add, the slower Blender is going to run, so it's good to get the camera angle and everything set before you start really going nuts with this thing. As we will see here, as we increase the resolution to ridiculous levels. Oh, goodness, this may take a moment to render. And we're rendering, and we're rendering. Ooh, it's a blue tree. Ooh. All right, that looks pretty snazzy. Let's go ahead and hit F12 and see what the final product will look like. And, of course, the beauty of this is that you can attach really any object. Uh, I went with the cube because it has uh, the fewest number of, of vertices, other than, say, like a plane or a triangle. That looks weird. Uh, but uh, I've tried icospheres. Those are all right. It just uh, the amount of geometry goes up exponentially. So, but I can also play with materials. You can play with lighting, and get some very very cool results. All right, and it still renders fast, which is good. Always in favor of that. So there you have it. Point clouds and blender. Cool. Have a good day.